So this is a video on the good and bad of being an entrepreneur. And one of the fantastic things about an entrepreneur, and if you've got friends or you're an entrepreneur yourself, you know, one of the things that I realized about good entrepreneurship is the ability to wait, is the ability to put through the hard work, the ability to keep going at it, that persistency. And one of the things that I realized that entrepreneurs are really, really good at is um, uh, putting in a lot of that hard work at the beginning um, and uh, uh, being able to be patient. And that's one of... Um, uh, that's one of the best qualities of uh, true and successful entrepreneurs because a lot of success is not overnight. And you see, as much as I see that as a truly good quality, it can be a, a poor quality as well. You know, so, uh, whereas a poor quality gang is when entrepreneurs just keep waiting. You know, they'll, they'll put them th themselves through a lot of starvation, a lot of... You know, a lot of emptiness, a lot of hard work, sacrifice. Now, now, don't get me wrong about hard work. I mean, I love working hard and, you know, I love the whole, let's sacrifice, did you know? Because, you know, we're investing in that story that before and after, and we hear so much of it. Oh, you know, before this, I was so broke, you know, I didn't, I could not pay for my mortgage. I sold my car, sold my house, you know, I broke up with my family, you know, and I focused on the business. So I gave up a lot and then, great, you know, here I am today. And, you know, I realized that a lot of entrepreneurs have this delayed gratification. Now, that can be a good thing, being able to wait for the good things to come later. But that can also be, well, not such a good thing if you can starve yourself silly before you do something. You know, a lot of entrepreneurs set these conditions to celebrating and uh, giving something back to themselves. That delayed gratification can go too far. And I'd say go too far. Why? Because look, you know, if you're that, you're, you're that hungry or you're that sad or you're sacrificing so much of yourself, how much further could you go? And you see, are you playing a marathon? Are you, are you in this for the long haul, being in business for the long haul? Or are you prepared that your family, your relationships, your friends, your health, all that falls apart before you, oh, you know what? For the business hey you know delayed gratification if i made that ability to wait and persist and the determination that can be a good thing but draw the line so those of you who are setting a awesome 2020 plan um look in that period of time of your 2020 or you know your your whatever five years or ten years out please make sure that you're also celebrating the small little baby steps you know when you have that new client you know you have that new product you know say oh no no we've got this new product now but it's not in like 12 countries like wow why are you setting such a big step give yourself set up and give yourself that pat on the shoulder go do that something special for yourself go for that trip go for that holiday don't delay your gratification so far and you see this is this is what it says up here can you read this on my screen take some time to be grateful that does not mean only when you've hit your 20 to 50 million no Remember to celebrate every step of the way. Don't delay your gratification so long, so far, because number one, you're playing a marathon game. And number two, we don't know how much time we have left. It's either today or it's what, you know, 50 years time. We do not know that. I mean, so please exercise that gratitude, gang. Have little celebrations every step of the way and enjoy every bit of it. Thank you.